In this section, we're going to be looking at moments. And moments is a topic that should already have been met uh, in A-level maths. So if you're starting this playlist having not met moments uh, as part of the mechanics in A-level maths, then you should probably stop and go back and learn that bit first. Uh, however, there is a slight difference in uh, exam board approach for moments. And for OCR MEI, uh, and also AQA for that matter, when uh, they consider moments as part of A-level maths, uh, we don't look at anything at an angle. So um, you don't look at uh, moments on a ladder, for example, whereas Edexcel and OCRA do. Okay, so there are differences in approach to what uh, is covered in A-level maths. So because I'm covering OCR MEIs, uh, mechanics minor here, um, the consideration is that the majority of people doing uh, OCR MEI mechanics minor or mechanics A um, for further maths will likely be doing OCR MEI uh, A-level maths as well. That's not always the case, and that isn't the case uh, at the college I teach at. Uh, we do AQA for A-level maths and OCR MEI for further maths. So um, what I'm going to do in this playlist, just to be clear, is um, we're going to go through the types of problems uh, to do with ladders. So there might, it might feel like there's a bit of overlap. Um, and that's going to be fine. It's good, it's good for revision as well. But it will feel, for some people, like there might be a little bit of overlap here. Uh, so we will go through problems with ladders um, and things on hinges as well and things like that. Okay. Um, however, I'm not going to go through all of the bare bones basics that will have appeared in A-level maths up to this point. So uh, just as kind of like a quick recap of that, um, if you recall that a moment is found by multiplying a force by a perpendicular distance. So in units, you've got newtons uh, times by meters. So a moment will have newton meters as its units. Um, I also uh, use the convention that if a if we're looking at a moment and it's going clockwise round I take that to be negative and if it is going anti-clockwise round it is positive so I will be using that convention um, as part of these videos as well just to kind of give you a heads up um, key things to look out for when you're working with moments questions uh, is really two techniques so if we look at a situation where you've got a uniform rod, for example, um, on two supports, so there'll be a normal reaction force, let's say that's A, and we'll have another uh, support here, normal reaction force there. We've got the weight of the uh, rod working through, so W. Um, then what you can do is you can resolve forces vertically and you can take moments, didn't label that B, and you can take moments about any point as well. So there are really two techniques, and this, this works all the way through um, further maths as well when you're looking at moments. Two techniques, resolve vertically or horizontally, depending on the problem, okay? So resolve vertically or horizontally and taking moments. If moments could really come down to two processes, it's really just those in the end, okay? So we'll do a little bit of recap um, in the next video just to kind of get the ball rolling and to just uh, try some problems out. But things to do with um, working with uniform rods, uh, basic rectangular lamina, um, uh, non-uniform rods, um, tilting, uh, those types of problems should have been met at A-level maths and uh, I will take that on as being um, knowledge that you have in being able to approach this section of the playlist.